Sophia Soto with the Nerds of Color. And first off, I just want to say what a pleasure it is to speak with you today. The films were absolutely fantastic. And I'm so oh, excited for everyone to see them. Awesome. Thank you. So nice to meet you. And so the first question I have for you is obviously, these are based on the iconic book series from R.L. Stein. And uh, I wanted to ask what it was like to bring this creation to life. Um, it was it was crazy. It was so exciting. I had been a fan of the books. I grew up in the 90s. I had read them then. I was I was just a big fan. And then frankly, I forgot about them for a while. And so when I was approached in, in 2017 to kind of like make these into into movies, I was so excited about the possibility. I was also really scared because I was like, I love these. <laughs> and there are so many of them and they're so good and so beloved. Like, how do we do this? How do we stay true to the spirit of this universe that that Earl Stein created? And then also, how do we make it feel kind of a little more updated? How do we justify making slasher movies at, when there's so many amazing slasher movies that have already been made? So, yeah. And, you know, I know this is a little bit of a hard question, but which year of the trilogy are you most excited for fans to see and was your sort of favorite? Oh, to... oh man, that is a hard <laughs> question. That's like, which of these children in front of you? <laughs> yeah. Real Sophie's choice. Um, I don't know. I think that they're, they're I, I always go back and forth. I'll be like some days I'm like 94. That's my baby. That's when I was 16. I love this. And then the next day, I'll watch 78 because I have to watch these over and over again. <laughs> of course. And I'm like, oh my God, this is amazing. I love all of this crazy blood and the sisters and, and everything. And then 1666 also always gets me. It has my favorite moment of the trilogy in it, which I don't want to talk about now, but, um, and, and also just the energy of kind of being back in 1666. I think everyone crushed it. So I'm not really answering your question, but. No, you did. You did. You're good. No, no. And, you know, <laughs> fun question for you. If you could create sort of a tagline for this trilogy, what would you pick? Oh, my God. This is a hard one. Um, hmm. Oh, no. I don't know. I don't know. I think it would have something to do with a lot of blood and dead teenagers, but I don't know what, like, the cutesy version of that would be. <laughs> Listen, we don't need the cutesy. That's perfect. You're blood all and good. dead teenagers sold. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, I just wanted to ask you, what is your favorite aspect of the horror genre? Oh, I think um, I think as a filmmaker, I love that I get to do crazy shit. So I get to 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 kill people in extraordinarily ways, and and like also you know play with a lot of blood and and insanity, and then also still make the movies about something, um, which I think is kind of great and and unique to the genre. Um, so yeah. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me today and yeah, huge congrats again. Thank, thank you, you so Great much. To meet you you as well. Have a great rest of your day. Thank, thank you. you.